In 1925, a 20-year-old kid from Erie, Pennsylvania invented a food preparation process that would revolutionize the world's food industry. But to accurately tell his story, you have to also tell the story of his father and the Colby Fish Processing Company. Robert Colby was a fisherman. Fishing was in his DNA. Born on Lake Erie's southern shore in 1905, Robert was the son of a son of a fisherman. His father, Captain William Colby, ran one of the most successful fish houses on Lake Erie. In 1911, the captain had processing plants in Erie and Port Dover, which gave Colby Fish access to both Canadian and U.S. rail lines, or better said, access to the fish-hungry markets of Toronto, Windsor, Detroit, Pittsburgh, and New York City. The two fish processing plants became the largest and most successful on Erie's North Shore. The Colby Fish Company was big, and by 1920, it added trap and gill nets, operating dozens of fishing tugs, and ran several processing businesses. When the Roaring Twenties began to roar, business was, in a word, great. Or at least it was great until the herring ran out. From catch to market, the herring crash of the 1920s changed everything in the commercial fishing industry. But Colby Fish was, if anything, a tenacious, never-say-die company, and Captain Colby is credited with saving the industry by doing two things. The first was to convince U.S. consumers that the milder flavored and much smaller catches were the choice Lake Erie catch. And the second was to develop a better way to keep the fish fresh all the way to market. Captain Colby sent his son Robert to Rensselaer Polytechnic University in New York with the assigned task of working with the specialized engineering faculty to develop a flash freezing process. In only his junior year, Robert Colby developed and patented with the U.S. Patent Office a flash freezing technique. The old captain was delighted, so much so that he pulled his son from school, explaining that he'd achieved his goal and any additional money spent on education would be a waste. With the aid of Robert Colby's newly patented flash freezing system, Colby Fish built many assembly plants along both the north and south shores of Lake Erie. The mini plants were fish fillet stations that were soon locking the wonderful fresh taste of Lake Erie blue pike, walleye, and perch into frozen fillets. Colby tugs were soon busy once again delivering fish to Erie on a daily basis. A million pounds of fresh fish a year, ready for rail delivery to the big city fish markets. Robert stayed in the fish industry until he retired in 1972, but his legacy is as fresh today as it was in 1925. Visit any supermarket in any town, in any country, and walk down the frozen food aisle. All those colorful boxes of frozen food are there because of the genius of a son of a son of a fisherman.